Hello and welcome back to Oscar Recap. Today we will recap. In the world of the future, people can become very small through science and technology. When black technology comes out, people are becoming smaller in droves because it's so cool to be smaller. You can build a big house for $10,000 because $10,000 is the equivalent of a million dollars. You can eat a biscuit in one bite. You can eat a biscuit for a month. That's why going small has become an option for many people. Not only is there no financial pressure, they can also live a carefree life. And it's green. It only produces so much waste in three years, so there are so many advantages to going small. The only downside is that, once you're smaller, you can't get it back. The Jacks have wanted to go smaller for a long time. They've just been on the fence about it. At an exhibition of scientists, 36 couples who had been made smaller were on display, and there were children born to these couples. That's proof that the technique is healthy. Despite this, Mr. and Mrs. Jack were hesitant. It was only at a dance that they saw two old classmates who had been reduced to size at the ball. The classmates told them that it's a comfortable world to be small. They lived in a big house and that they didn't have to worry about money. They are very happy and having just paid off the mortgage, Jack was aware of the pressures of life, so the couple decided to go small, to live the life of a rich man. But just a few days after becoming smaller, something like this happened. Jack regretted it. The doctor shaves all the hair off the patient's body, and then the teeth are pulled out. Because the teeth are so hard, it is not easy to make them smaller. The preparation is complete. Finally, the nursing staff, they are put into an oven-like object. After a 10-minute wait, as the warning light comes on, the miniaturization operation is complete. One by one. The little people are pushed out. The operation goes well. The next step was to give them. They were then fitted with their little dentures. Jack is still looking forward to being small, starting a rich and wealthy life with his wife. When he wakes up, finds that his wife has disappeared. She had shaved her hair and then reneged. Jack is confused. Jack rants and raves at his wife, but it was only a rant because Jack was too big to fight his wife. Jack couldn't beat his wife, but what could he do? So Jack is left alone in the mansion. Now, despite the luxury of living, living in a large villa, Jack was never happy. A month later, his wife sent divorce papers. Jack was even more distressed. Later, after Jack and his wife have divided their property, Jack. Jack has to work in the world of the little people. Jack has to work as a wage earner. He finds a girlfriend after a long time. After a few days, he finally breaks up. It's like his life is full of failures and frustrations. So he goes to his friend Tom's house, who has also become small to talk. As he talks, it seems that Jack seems to have fallen in love with Mary, Tom's nanny. Mary has lost her left leg in an accident and has to wear a prosthesis. Jack, who has been a convalescent, finds out that Mary's prosthetic leg is faulty. With a little repair work, he fixes the prosthesis for Mary. The relationship between the two of them grew quickly. In return, Mary invites Jack to her home. He follows Mary to a house built from shipping containers. It was in a dilapidated state, but there are still many people living there. Jack saw Mary, despite being disabled herself. She was willing to help the poor people here. Jack was touched by this. In the evening, Jack massaged Mary's legs. Jack could not help but kiss her. Of course, Mary didn't resist, and so the two fell in love. But that didn't last long. Something else happened. The next day, Jack, they and Tom went to a remote town on business. Here lived the group of people who had started out small. But Jack was wondering why they needed such a large stock of food. And when he asked, he found out. It turns out that the scientists here have been monitoring the situation for a long time, that the end of the world was near. So they built an identical microcosm 3,000 meters underground. They built a microcosm exactly like this. Animals, plants, everything. The people of the town will have to go underground to live, to continue the civilization. Jack was suddenly excited to hear this, because he had been a failure all his life. If he could do something for mankind this time, he felt that it would be very rewarding. But Mary wasn't happy, because she thought that the end of the world would come in a few hundred years at the latest. They'd be gone by then. If they cowered underground now, it would be a waste of life. This is the day, was the day they left for the underground. They took one last look at the world. Then they set off deep underground. Jack, of course, was among them. But Jack walked through the deep tunnels, always stopping and going, as if there was something he couldn't let go of. He looked at the entrance, which was about to close, and then at the tunnel that goes underground. Finally, it was as if he was making a choice. Jack thought about it. Could he really give up his friends and his loved ones, just as he had left them? At the last moment, as the portal closed, Jack rushed outside. He made it out in the end. Later Jack stayed in the slums to help those in need. It was at this moment that he felt that life was more meaningful. He got to see the real people, the real underclass. He saw the real life of the poor. And then it dawned on him that he saw the real life of the poor. He was able to use them all here. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss any updates.